Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, that's enough for introductions. Let's get on to the candle haul. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, you'd be like, that was the quickest intro ever. But seriously, you guys, we just got back from candle day. Oh, M G you guys like seriously uh, oh my goodness <laughs> let me just say that I had a ton of fun this year was so much better candle wise like seriously I found some good ones you guys make sure you're subscribed turn on your notifications give this video a thumbs up you guys um, follow me on my social media especially um, Instagram it's linked below I'm so excited you guys I don't want to waste any more time because there's a lot to show you and then I have an online order that is totally just a mess you guys and so um, I was going to include that in this video but it when I show you what it looks like then you're gonna be like oh my goodness okay so yeah just stay tuned for that at the end of this video okay you guys I want to show you my candles <laughs> okay you guys like okay I went to um, the first store this is like a big you know um, white barn slash Bath and Body Works store. So I thought they were gonna be loaded up with everything, you guys. I grabbed my cart. Mind you, this store opened at six because I called the night before to check, you know, um, when the stores would be opening. And, you know, we have to travel. We have to pretty much go on a road trip just to get to the mall, you guys. Um, but once we get to the big city, there are a ton of Bath and Body Works. So I'm like, let's just go, you know, there and then we can hit up different ones and, you know, in case one doesn't have one. Well, I went, you know, and I grabbed, you know, the little basket and I'm like, uh, where are all the candles? Because I'm like, if you don't even have like my top six, I'm already getting sad. And I saw a lot that you know I haven't had that were new but they were kind of they were on my list but they were on you know kind of like the the bottom of my list like I wanted the tops first and then I was going to get those I didn't want to start with those so I was kind of already discouraged and sad and I was like oh my goodness and then I checked online I said well you know what I can always just place an, a third order because I had already placed one online order you guys um yeah, just and then I placed another online order, you know, when the when the candle sales went live and everything. So I have those two orders coming, you guys. And then I was like, well, I'll just place another one. OK, all won't be all lost. Uh, No, it was just like sold out. Candle day is sold out. Try something else. And I was like, oh, my goodness. This particular store, though, you guys, has a lower level Bath and Body Works. They have an upper level, lower level. I went to the lower level. It's as if no one knew they were there. And they had everything. And it was like, Whoa! So here we go, you guys. The first thing that I found and grabbed, you know I did, is French Baguette. You guys, this is the one that was on my list. This is the one I was telling you about. Yes, it is available in a one wick, but the one wick does not look like this. This is so cute. I love this really artistic, looks like a drawing. Um, uh, I love the bread basket. Let me take the lid off. I love the fact that they included when the candle first came out 2012 okay so there's no guessing about when it was you know released we know okay so originally launched in 2012 enjoy a bbw favorite blend of slow rising dough crispy crust and a fresh out of the oven aroma oh just just wait one more minute just oh, just give me a moment please give me a moment this smells better than the one wick you guys but remember i was telling you guys that some people were turned off by the sour note in that one wick i don't get the sour note in this one i get bread yummy bread and i'm a bread person <laughs> like when you go to cheesecake factory and they bring you out the pumpernickel bread and the butter and then the oh, okay uh, okay 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 all right <laughs> So this is French baguette, you guys. It smells so good. I told you that it smells like fresh baked, crusty bread, but soft in the inside, hot. Oh my goodness, get your butter. Oh my goodness, that's French baguette. Okay, and 
just to let you, where am I going to set all these when I'm done? Just to let you guys know now, uh, you know, as we all know, these um, retail for $24.50. They usually go on sale for $12.95. Well, today was the big $8.95 sale. A lot of stores opened at 5. You guys, I saw online where some stores were open at 1 a.m., 4 a.m. People were like lined up crowds. People were camped out with their chairs and newspapers and cell phones. Yes, it, it, it was that serious. Okay, the next one on my list, you guys, is Boathouse Row, established in 2013. Now, you're probably thinking, but these, this one isn't really you, but then it is, you guys, because I feel that Candle Day is a perfect day to try out new scents. Like $8.95, you guys, my receipt, the, the purchases where I split up my transactions and I use my 15 off of 40 you guys, each candle was literally $5 and like 93 cents. Now, the one where I used my 20% off, did you guys use your 20% off? Um, my stores accepted the 20% off. As a matter of fact, they had the code already in their head. And when you came up there, they already put it in there. I was like, okay, we're ready. Okay, I I, I, <laughs> I like this. And they already took the 20% off, even though the that coupon was expired. Remember your three-day grace period. It works three days before a sale and three days after a sale. I don't think too many people know that, but I was ready with my 20%. That made the candles more like seven something, but even so, even even still, Still, that was still awesome you guys so yeah this is boathouse row now I feel like I was saying this is the perfect time to try candles that are out of your comfort zone mostly mine are bakery but then I love like you know sea ocean sort of you know outdoorsy type candles too this label is so adorable the blue and white with the red accent I, I'm, I'm I'm just I'm all over this I'm all over this Okay, so this is a blend of green sage, and this one was um, this one was first released in 2013, you guys. So, originally launched in 2013, enjoy a BBW favorite blend of green sage, fresh pomegranate with notes of bay leaves and moss. I love it. I love it. I'm on a boat. I'm okay with this. I will probably get more. I love the packaging. And you guys, it's fresh, crisp, outdoor air, as if you really are on a boat. Mm. Okay, all right. So let me know if you guys got all the ones on your list. I was like seriously ecstatic. Okay, so moving right along. This was, um, this was originally out, you guys, in 2008, fresh bamboo and I took the lid off and I was thinking when I was reading this online you guys uh, okay um a blend of sweet bamboo lush jasmine and wild grasses that's what it has here I was thinking who wants to smell grass like seriously and I was laughing and joking um with the uh essay um at one of the stores and he was like you know what like he was like, I'm thinking who wants to smell grass? And he said, yeah, those are flying off the shelves. People are coming in here. They're like, do you have fresh bamboo? Do you have fresh bamboo? You guys, mm, this smells so good. Now it's not like fresh mode grass. And then kind of like where, you know how you get that? It's almost like it's an allergy type of scent with grass and it, you don't want your house to smell like that. This, imagine this is grass but it's sweet and then it's mixed with roses. So you get outdoor floral and there is the grass, but it's not that like annoying type of grassy scent that you guys are probably thinking about. And so it's not like that. This is enjoyable. And I was thinking, there's no way I'm gonna pick this up, like seriously. And I said, well, let me give it a try. And I was like, oh, I smelled in the store. I said, Oh, because me and the essay were just like, seriously, like, yeah, who's going to seriously want fresh bamboo? I know, right? And then I smelled it and I was like, oh, okay, I do because it smells good. He said, see, everybody loves it. <laughs> it was so funny. Mm, this smells so good, you guys. I'm like, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, let me, I'm just grabbing all over. Okay, so here is Caribbean Escape. Um, this came out in 2010 and let's see, it's a blend of creamy coconut milk, raw sugar cane and raspberry nectar. Um, Caribbean Escape always comes out, 
Um, it's always enjoyable, but I love this packaging. I feel like I'm getting ready to go on a vacation. And remember you guys, um, when I was doing my wish list video and the tag, I said I was mostly looking for spring, summer candles, so I had no problems buying um, these more spring-inspired, more summer-inspired candles, although I do have winter ones, um, too, and like New Year's ones, too, so yeah. And so there it is, and okay, you know what, let's just pack our bags right now and just go somewhere in the Caribbean, like seriously, I... I need this as a drink, seriously. It's coconut milk, I'll read it again, and raspberry. I just get like lush coconut, you know, and palm trees and beach sand, all of that. <laughs> and like ocean water in this candle and it's so pretty, oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, so I got through those. Um, all right, so this one um, is actually a release for tomorrow, but some of the stores were setting them out ahead of time. This is Fresh Cut Lilacs. Have you guys seen this one? And let me tell you, this is a soft, powdery floral. I smelled it in the store. Mm, it is a soft, powdery floral, like I just said, and it's lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. And this smells so good, you guys. When you wanna make that transition from winter into spring, go with this, the fresh cut lilacs. Okay, all right, we're moving right along here. <laughs> okay, guys, so we'll grab the next set because they're in crates and they were in bags. And I had um, these bags, I had three huge bags, you guys, just full of candles. Um, this was not a time for body care or anything else. I was in full on candle mode. <laughs> okay, so the next one, you guys, is, well, I'll just read you the notes. Lush red velvet cake, cream cheese frosting and sweet vanilla yes you may have guessed it red velvet cupcake oh my goodness now i've taken the lid off and i'm already getting that scent this is what it looks like okay these labels though these particular labels in this collection are really not my favorite i would have loved to have just you know had like maybe a red velvet cupcake on the front maybe um a picture of the front of a you know a little local bakery or something with the cupcakes in the window and a little sign with the price tag. okay okay but anyhow you get the gist of what i'm saying um i really am not a fan of this particular design however i am a fan of the scent Oh my goodness, this is decadent, you guys. This is red velvet cake. I get more of the cake, maybe more of the batter than I do the cream cheese. I would have loved to pick up, pick up a little more um, cream cheese with it, but this is a decadent red velvet batter and it smells so good. Now, last year they had red velvet cheer or something like that. I felt like that one was just too strong for me, so I passed it up, but I like red velvet cupcake. Mm, it gets better each time I smell it. It's This is a really nice bakery candle. If you guys are looking for this and you know someone that loves red velvet or cake or bakery candles, get this or, you know, for yourself too. So that's red velvet cupcake. And then um, another one that's in that collection is cranberry pear bellini. So this is fizzy pear nectar, sparkling red cranberries, lush apricot, and tart black currant. Mmm. Oh, this smells good. But you know what, you guys? I feel like I have smelled this before. I'm looking at a candle that this reminds me a lot of. Now, this packaging, I feel it's the same as a red velvet cupcake, but I like these colors in this design better. So I think this candle is cuter to me, um, although I still just don't like this design, though. Um, I love... Look at the pink bubblegum wax. I love that though. Mm, this is refreshing. I actually get a little bit of the fizz, the effervescence, and it smells like pears. 
and a little bit of peaches to me. I know that's not part of the scent notes, but I get that. And I actually get the cranberries. It's like a nice drink that you would have um, in the summer on a hot day or something like that. So this is actually really yummy. Um, I, these were more of ones that I wanted, but I didn't think I'd go like goo goo gaga over them. But man, I'm really enjoying this one. And I'm going to show you though, this smells, I feel like if you have this one, you're not going to need cranberry pear bellini unless you just want it a little more touch of fizz but look at this one you guys and this comes out every year all the time in different packages like seriously watermelon lemonade like seriously you guys <laughs> i think this has literally been repackaged about fifty thousand times like seriously <laughs> but i love this packaging it's perfect for the warmer weather i love the cotton candy or pink bubblegum or barbie pink uh color that is and we all you know pretty much know what watermelon lemonade smells like um and it's watermelon ice sparkling water and meyer lemons mm, now i have always said um, that watermelon lemonade to me smells like strawberry lemonade. It smells more like strawberry lemonade than watermelon. And I'm telling you, you guys, these, these smell so similar, but you know what it is? The cranberry pear bellini has the fizz. It has the effervescence, um, more, you know, like a, a grown up drink. Whereas this one is more of like the kids drink. So yeah, um, but they're so similar. I feel like you wouldn't need both. Now they're not exactly the same sense, but they're so close that I just feel that, you know, if you were trying to save money, you really actually didn't need both of them. I don't know, just my thoughts. Okay, you guys, I was excited to get this one. You know it's on my list. This is Sorrento Lemon Citron and Agave Nectar. This is Sun Washed citrus now i love bright colorful things so i got this more something um i got this as something more pretty to look at and display around the summertime the warmer months and things like that it is i love this and it's actually textured it's sort of like ribbed and raised a little bit so can you guys hear that well anyhow <laughs> and this is so cute you guys um mm. Let me see. Now see, I smell, or that could, is that citron, does anyone know? Um, I smell oranges and lemons. This is definitely citrus, but it's not in your face. This is like a soft citrus. Mm. Mm, this is really good though. But this is like a soft citrus, if that makes any sense. You know how some cit citrus is really in your face? This is like really soft, almost like there's, vanilla mixed in here that's giving it a creaminess and toning it down so yeah but it's like oranges and lemons it's this is a wonderful citrus candle if you need a break from the winter scents or something like that that's going to be perfect and then moving right along i'll go ahead and show you guys pineapple mango now this packaging is just like really <laughs> it is boring i'm sorry you guys <laughs> i love the um the dark pink um, accent color. Now this one is named um, as part of the uh, basket weave collection so I know that's what the basket weave is there for but this packaging is seriously like a snooze fest like uh uh come on you guys like they could have did a little bit more when you think of pineapple mango even if just nothing but a a bowl of you know fresh fruit or a table with fruit on it or something like that with the sun shining through I don't know but give me something a little cuter to look at. However, mm, the scent is really nice. This smells like a pineapple mango smoothie where you've gone up and you just say, I just want pineapples and mangoes in my smoothie. That's what this smells like. Mm, so this is really nice. And I love that these are just all summer inspired really perfect for the summer weather because I absolutely love spring and summer. Now guess what is next you guys? Okay, so I had to hunt for these. Yes, I said these. I went to the upper level. I went to the lower level, okay? They didn't have it. So then I called another store and they were like, we have four. 
and my husband was like, well, we better hurry up and get over there. So we were trying to, you know, hurry up and, and get these things paid for and everything so we could rush on to a different mall that was sort of like right up the street from the other one. But anyhow, you guys, OMG, I'm so excited. Gelato. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like seriously, I literally was about to cry because the two stores did not have this and they were all sold out online and this one was in my top five. So I was just like, <laughs> oh my good candle day is serious, huh, you guys? You guys, look at this. Yum, yum. Look at the gelato, you guys. Oh my goodness. And of course, I told you guys I've always wanted to travel to Italy, so yeah. Now I can do it at least, you know, as far as a treat, at least in, you know, candle ways. Okay, so this originally launched in 2013. Enjoy a BBW favorite blend of vanilla ice cream, lemon candy, with notes of strawberry and raspberry puree. I'm gonna let you guys smell it first. Just, just get all of that, get all of that in there. You gotta scoot up close to really get the <laughs> smell of vision Where are you? Who's going to create smell of vision for YouTube? Like seriously, we, we need it. <laughs> Look at the picture. I love the picture. I just need a spoon, that's it. I just need a spoon. It is so cute, you guys, oh. M G. Now it's my turn to smell. Mm, this, this is so good. This is so refreshing, so creamy. And I get the strawberry and the raspberry and the lemon and the vanilla all in one. Oh my goodness, I'm like seriously craving some gelato now. Mm, it makes me happy too. And like the mint colored. And it actually has a mint aspect to it. And I love the mint colored wax, you guys. This is amazing. You have to try this one. Oh, please do. Yes. Oh. oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. Like seriously, you guys, I'm like tempted to burn this one like today, like now. And then you guys, um, okay, pick a few candles that you want me to review and I will try to get those reviews out to you. Okay, now I'm I'm not kidding when I said that I had more than one. Now I can't probably hold them all. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. I may have broken one. Oh, what am I doing here? Okay. And so we made it to that store where they had four, but then you guys sort of like, under the table they actually had like 10 so yeah okay this is three I can't grab the other one you guys because I will seriously like shatter these so okay I'll set it I'll set that one there and then <laughs> okay so that's one two three four gelatos you guys how many did you guys pick up like seriously and do you guys like this scent it is refreshing Oh my gosh, I'm seriously going to open like my own little gelato um, stand. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me put the lids back on these. Wonderful goodies here. Okay. All right, you guys, so I'll push the gelatos over there. And then I was super excited because, oh my goodness, isn't she sleek? dark and beautiful look at party dress oh my like where's the party at girl <laughs> okay so originally launched in 2013 enjoy a bbw favorite blend of peonies soft jasmine and orchid petal it's really light i have to say it's really light on cold and I do get a soft sort of like rose petal and flower scent, but it's really soft. I'm hoping that it's stronger when it's burning, okay? And then who knows? I may pair her with black tie because I finally have my couple, you guys. So yeah, they're going out together. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, Um, I was wanting this to be a little stronger though. I wish it was a little stronger. I love this pack. Just, I love this packaging. I love it. I love it, you guys. Oh my goodness! And okay, I didn't stop there because here, 
there are two there are two so i think i need another black tie because then she's gonna be like seriously all alone <laughs> i'm a mess you guys i'm a mess <laughs> but yeah so we have our party dress twins here i love this set okay you guys so let me show you the last two that um you know i picked up this is after the snow and it's made with fir balsam and patchouli essential oils with notes of black peppercorn and cinnamon okay i have to be honest this is one that i picked up more uh just because of the sheer cuteness of it it's just a pretty label there's snow there's snowflakes there's a shovel for the snow there is even i didn't even notice this at first there's a little snowman like seriously okay there's after the snow and then where's the snowman he's like right there kind of looks like he's being um kind of swept away in the snow but it's all right <laughs> he's okay <laughs> and there's the um oh i didn't even notice that Okay, so apparently he's, um, it's, oh, it's a snow globe. Um, yeah, so, yeah, look at this. There's a sled. Oh, my goodness. So, there's plenty of, you know, stuff for him to do here. This is after the snow, you guys. So, mm. now, when I saw this online, I researched the keynotes, and I didn't think that I would enjoy the, the black peppercorn or the uh, peppercorn, the black peppercorn aspect, but you don't get that first. It's smooth, it's calmed, and I it could be the cinnamon. But I smell more like cinnamon and vanilla mixed together with maybe a hint of that sort of spiciness, the black peppercorn. It is really subdued, you guys. Don't think that this is gonna be a strong one that you're just gonna to have to be turned off from. No, go ahead and give it a try. It's actually so much lighter, and I'm detecting a little hint of musk, just a little bit, but it's soft. So try the After the Snow, I love that name. And then, you guys, I had to get Winter Woods simply because of the ice skate when i saw the ice skate, i know i know just the ice skate like seriously the, just oh mm, i took the lid off and it smells so good so this is cedar wood essential oil cashmere musk and vanilla bean yeah that's what mm, this smells really oh that smells really good picture vanilla and woods like you're outside and then maybe you have some vanilla or something like that i know weird and a soft musk i like that these are really soft they're not in your face mm. but this one to me is more scented than the after the snow and mm, i think i would like this one better than after the snow because it's just a little stronger but both of these labels are absolutely gorge. Okay, you guys, so this was the order. Um, we pulled up after shopping, you know, all day. And my son was like, Mommy, you have a package. You guys, this is how um, my son picked up this package. And he was like, Mommy, there's stuff all on the package. I said, maybe, uh, maybe it's just the rain. Uh, no, it's not the rain, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is how my poor package was delivered. Now, I, I opened this, but this is how the package looked, you guys. It is beat up. I have not used this or anything. Um, I was actually excited because I was going to include it in this, you know, candle haul. I kept saying, I smell sweet like peppermint or something. What is that? What is that? Well, I remember that I ordered a Twisted Peppermint 2-in-1 Bubble Bath and Body Wash, you guys. Look at the container. Look at this. Now, these, these are $18.50, and the product leaked everywhere. You can see. Look at that, guys. It's all over the bottle. Now, it does smell good. This box does smell good after all this leaking everywhere. So there's goo. This is what leaked out over the entire box. Um, so yeah, um, anyhow, I was just going to show you. Oh, guy. oh my goodness. You guys, I can't even like haul this. Look, it's, it, uh, okay, it's okay. 
Okay, you guys, um, what I'll do is I'll clean this up and then I'll show you guys. Um, it's really sad when things are delivered like that. I know mistakes are made and I know that, you know, um, sometimes the boxes are kind of like just, you know, handled roughly or sometimes they're in a hurry and things like that. And mistakes are bound to, you know, happen and things are bound to get shattered or leak or anything like that. So I guess I can call them and let them know um, what happened because, you guys, it's too messy for me to even present it to you and show you the rest of this small little um, online haul. Let me at least clean it up a little bit and then I can include it um, some other time. Oh, my hair is all over the place. Big hair don't care. I love big hair, you guys. And um, you know what? No matter what color I wear, I love my black, though. Um, I don't know. I just love the way it looks. <laughs> um, but all the colors I wear are so fun, and it's good to change it up sometimes. So, yeah, you guys, um, that is my Candle Day 2018 haul. That's a wrap, you guys. How did Candle Day shopping go for you? Was this your first one? Was this like your second or third time? Did you just forgo all of it and just place an online order? Oh, and you guys, I will be showing you online. I ordered Banana Split Milkshake. I ordered two, and then I ordered two um, of the pink petal tea cakes, you guys. You guys are super excited about that. A lot of people were obsessed. They sold out immediately. The packaging is beautiful. When it was in that soft container last year, I have to admit, I was not interested with, with that packaging. It, but packaging does something to me. It makes me interested. It makes me happy. It is just, I don't know, the packaging is just important to me. Let me know if you guys agree. Now that PPTC is in that cute, um, really pink, uh, like floral container, I want a hundred of them, like seriously. And then Banana Split Milkshake, you guys, has sprinkles and everything. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. So those two are on their way. I will show you guys those when they come in and then possibly even do a review okay all right you guys i will see you in my next video and look my hair is just you know but like i said big hair don't care you know <laughs> i will see you guys um in my next video so yeah you guys i will see you guys in my next video bye starfires